Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Star-Lord and Drax from the Epic's Hero line by Hasbro. Stick around and we'll go through it. <music> All right, so here is the window packaging, uh, plastic-free window packaging that the Epic Hero series is coming in. You can see here all on the side, they do have the whole team here, but I don't think they've actually done a Nebula yet. Um, hopefully they'll do a, a second wave and Nebula will be in there. I am still looking for the Mantis. I have found uh, the Groot the, with the dog and the baby raccoon and the rocket with the ship and I do plan on getting those eventually. They seem to be much easier to find than the single carded or single boxed figures. There's a nice image here of each character in their uniform. A picture here of the figure. Looks like they both do come with two accessories, two knives for Drax and two guns for Star-Lord. Here's the side of the packaging. You can see they're, they're pretty much exactly the same. Um, except for the figure inside, and then here is the back. So it's cool, it's a nice little package. It's, I always prefer the sort of Star Wars uh, carded blister, but there's nothing wrong with these. Uh, I do like it. It's, uh, you can see, you know, what's, it's better than the window lists. I didn't have much choice with the Star-Lord as I only found this one, but he was uh, well painted. He had his eyes are straight and everything. There was a lot of Draxes. So I did have my choice of the Draxes. I hope I got the right one, or the best one, I should say. And I think I did. So that's the packaging, guys. Let's get them open and let's see what's inside. All right, I thought I'd show you this because it is kind of interesting. Uh, when you pull the, the package out, the, the figure out, it does have these little arrows and warnings that I could not see why they were in there. And it does say, you know, gear inside and like, you know, making sure that you see it. And when you pull them out underneath, the package underneath this little pocket here are the warning labels and the little tissue with the weapons inside. So that's kind of new. Again, it's the plasticless, I guess, except for that band there, um, the but plasticless package. So they made sure that you didn't uh, pass or you didn't not see those and, and just throw them away. But it does let you know that they're in there. I did expect them to be tied up somewhere down here or or pinned in sort of how these figures are, but maybe underneath. I've seen that before with a lot of different lines. But I just thought that was interesting, so I wanted to show you before I pop these out. All right, so here they are out of package, and I like them. I've only had them open for a few minutes, uh, but they are, they're fun. Um, they, it's great that they both come with two accessories. The, the, accessories the weapons are a bit on the softer side like the star wars vintage collection it's a very soft plastic i think i'm going to try to paint them customize them make them look a little more realistic that might be something that i try to do um the likenesses of the the characters of the faces aren't too bad i don't think this is uh the face print technology um that quite on the level of the vintage collection but it's not bad i think it, you know who it is it, it comes across you can you can see who it is um i guess my biggest criticism would be i think and i, I set these boxes up right behind here so you can see this and this is just my opinion i don't know how you guys will feel about this but i feel like the blue in the the picture the the real photograph of the character is a little bit blue a little more rich than what the figures actually are i think the red is a little bit closer um, but the blue is, is, is a little bit lighter. Now it does match, the figure does match the picture of the figure up here. The, the blue seems to be the same, but I feel like the blue here in the, in the photo of Star-Lord and Drax is just a little bit richer, a little bit darker. I wish the figure matched the picture of the, of that a little bit more rather than, um, it, it looks like they got exactly what they wanted. If, if you go off of this picture, but the, the real headshot here, I think it's a little bit off. Um, not by much, though. It's not a deal breaker by any means. That's really my only sort of thing I noticed right off the bat. These are very com uh, comparable to the DC Spin Master stuff. Um, 
I think they're actually, these are more 118 though in four inch than the Spin Master stuff, which is more 375, a little bit shorter. Um, I do like them though. I do like these. I like them a lot. Um, the price point's about right. You know, I got these for $11.99. Um, they, they, they don't have all the articulation, you know, that you would expect from something a little bit higher in like a vintage collection or, you know, a joy toy or something like that. Um, he does have, uh, and it appears that these two do share the exact same body, um, and hands, everything except head. Um, they both have trigger fingers, even though Drax doesn't necessarily need them for these knives. Um, but Star-Lord's trigger finger does fit in quite well. Um, they do have ball hinged shoulders and elbows, and it does allow them to spin. And same with the knee. It does allow it to spin if you need it to. Um, single hinged uh, elbow and knee. They've got sort of the old, I'll say like the big crotch from the old Mattel uh, sort of DC stuff that used to be around. Um, you know, they do get a good split, but you do have that that big uh, piece there in the crotch. But it's not it's not bad, you know. They do stand quite easily. You can't get the 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 biggest dynamic pose out of these, but you can get you know some pretty good ones. And oops, I'm sorry, I had that off camera. But you can get some pretty good poses though. Um, he does have a ball jointed neck. He can look down, but he doesn't look up very much. And he doesn't look down much either, but you can see it. You know, it's not bad though. I, I think I what I like about these are, you know, they're on the shelf. These are, this is more of an introduction, I think 118 to the kid line. Um, or for a kid, it's a kid line to introduce kids to this scale. And of course, like Rocket Ship, you can have vehicles and so on at this scale that, you know, a parent could afford and buy for their kid and, and not worry about them breaking it because these aren't going to break. They do feel durable. Um, and I like them. I like them for what they are. Now, I think at eleven ninety nine, you know, it might be a buck or two too much, but I, I get it. Um, everything's more expensive now, but the DC Spin Masters are, uh, are yeah, the Spin was it Spin Masters that I mentioned earlier with the DC stuff? Um, they are, I think, $8.99. But they're smaller, so there's less plastic. But these feel right about the same, same, you know, sort of going after the same market. You know, they're after the same group of people. Um, you know, if you've got a Star Lord, you might want a Batman. Um, but I do like these. I think they're pretty good. Their value for money is, it's right in line. You know, it's right in line. They're not quite as articulated as, say, a Fortnite figure of the same price. But, you know, the Fortnite characters aren't Chris Pratt. You know, they're not Star-Lord. They're not as well-known. Um, you know, I uh, forgot this guy's name, uh, the guy who plays Drax. But, you know, these are, these are Hollywood sort of stars, and these movies are big time. So I can see why they could charge this amount and people would still be willing to buy them um, like me. And I think even a parent would say, you know what, for 12 bucks, okay, I'll buy you a toy. Um, when it starts getting to the Joy Toy and the, you know, the Acid Rain and even the Star Wars Vintage Collection to some extent, um, when they start to get to 16 17 you know, the Boba Fett, the $23 for a figure this size, it gets hard to swallow. But I think for these, it's not bad. And considering there's just the team, you know, I haven't seen any bad guys in this scale. Um, they don't even have the full team because you don't even have Nebula. It's pretty much five, five figures. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's pretty much just five figures. And, you know, at, at you know, it's just a bit over, what, 60 bucks, $70, and you have the whole thing. Um, it's not bad. It's not a bad, it's not a bad deal. Um, now, I do have a quite a, a couple other Star Lords, quite a few, I should say, and I have a few Draxes, so it'd be nice to kind of compare them to their counterparts. So let me do that for you next. So here is the team. Um, these are three uh, comic book versions, obviously Gamora, Rocket, and Groot. These are the only uh, three uh, other team members that I have in this scale. These two are from a Toys R Us exclusive pack this is actually the single carded 
version of Gamora. I do have this one. It's the same body, different head that came with these, these guys and the comic book versions of Star-Lord and Drax. But I thought I'd just kind of give you the full team there. I'm looking forward to growing out this team with the other versions of these two that will match these two more. But I just thought I'd show you that really quick. Okay guys, so here we go. I, as you can see here, I've got two other Draxes. Those are both from the Marvel Universe line. And I've got three other Star-Lords and those are also from the Marvel Universe line. The, uh, this, this Star-Lord here was the last one they did. It was in a two-pack. Not sure if they were still calling them Marvel Universe at that time, but that's what he is, basically. Um, these two Star-Lords do use the same exact body. They just have different paint, different heads. These are both based on comic books, and these are also the same exact upper body with different legs. I believe this one came in a Toys R Us uh, pack of the whole team. And this was a single carded version. Um, they all came with with accessories. Um, he does have the same guns, but you can see these ones are painted much nicer, much better. Um, the articulation is a little different on all of these. If I keep him to stand, I did have a little bit of trouble standing this Drax right here. Um, his lower body, he's, his balance isn't quite as good as the, uh, the rest of the figures up here. But now that they're all posed together, you can see that these new ones are, even though they're four inch, they are smaller. So I guess the Marvel, you know, universe stuff, it, it was, you know, over four inch. I didn't quite realize that until I had them all lined up here. Um, I usually just compared Marvel, Marvel universe to Marvel universe. And they all seem to be in the same, you know, these guys all seem to be in the same scale. And you can tell that these two are, are different. Um, do I like these new ones more than these old ones? I don't know. I don't quite think so. You know, out of all the ones here, this Drax is probably the best. And I probably like this Star-Lord the most. But I think this one, this masked version here, is probably my favorite. I have army built this one. Um, I do have an army build Marvel Universe video on my page. Um, please check that out if you haven't. So I have about five or six of these guys because um, he is... You know really good and this has the most articulation um these these two here and these two out of all the figures here this guy is missing waist articulation much like these two uh, but he does have a rocker ankle that these two don't have so um if, if you're going this way it's like the most articulation and you start to get a little less until these two and there's the least here um again though these are based on the movie this one is based on the movie and these ones are the comic book versions. So it's, it's hard to, you know, it's not quite apples to apples, but I think you can see here that, you know, if you're, if you want a star Lord, you know, if your kid wants a star Lord, you can go down to target Walmart right now and you can find these hopefully. And it's 12 bucks. These are going to run a little bit more if you find them and you're probably going to have to go to eBay, you know, Macari or something like that. Uh, whatnot. One of those, you know, secondary kind of, places to find these and they're going to cost you a little bit more and they might not be complete so i think these are a good deal this is a great place for someone to start if you're just jumping into the scale i think you'll be you know happy with what you get for the price and they're not bad i was hoping to match these two up you know into the squad with this army of these guys that i've built and now that they're together i think you know i can kind of point out the blue again that's the only thing that's kind of holding me up is this is such a much richer blue much like the box art and this is just a bit lighter and i haven't seen the movie yet so maybe it's just that photo maybe they really are this light um but i prefer the the darker blue here but overall it's they're all good figures um but these two i again i, I think they're a pretty good deal for what they are um these weapons for the Drax as well, you can see that they, they did put just a little bit more effort. He does have a, a, I guess his belt, you can put the knives through the belt, um, and they painted the handle. So that would probably be what I'll do with these knives. I'll probably paint the, paint the hilt and then the blade like a, a, sh a shiny metal. And the guns, I'll probably use these as an example, the Star-Lord guns that he has here to kind of mimic those when I do paint them, which I think I will. 
Um, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't go on too long. Uh, I'm going to try to take some photos now and, you know, kind of spice it up and have some fun with these new guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.